Hi, already. How is it going? Um, just a quick one for me. Um, we're just going to uh, have a look into um, how to uh, to be a bit more productive, a bit faster. I typing accents uh, when you're creating emails or when you're creating some resources for the language classroom, or if you're trying to communicate with people. So sometimes it takes quite a large amount of time and doing codes or doing all sorts. So let's have a look at different platforms and different ways to do it quick. Let's go. Here I am using a Mac, uh, which actually, in my own humble opinion, is probably the easiest and the fastest way to do things. But if you obviously don't have a Mac, there's plenty of other ways to do that. So uh, they've been quite um, thoughtful about the fact that you just push down the letter and you have all these options appearing. So you can either type the number that you want or you can also uh, click on whatever you fancy. So if I want this one here, and just get me the accent. Obviously, it's the first letter, so it changes to a capital letter. I can do the same thing here, put it down and do the one there. Okay, done. Nice and easy. And do the same with the A. And let's say I want this one here. And let's say the with the O. And I want a circumflex and I want the O down low. It's really, really straightforward. You just have to click on that. It's really, really quick. There's also another option which I really like, uh, which I probably use more than pushing down the letter, is using the keyboards. Uh, when you're used to it, it goes really, really quick. Uh, as you can see here at the bottom there, I use option key and I use that uh, key to actually create the grave accent. So if I do this now to, uh, to demonstrate how to do that, and just do, does it very, very quickly. Obviously, again, capital letters, first one, do it again there. Uh, it's if you want to do an accent aigu or acute accent, you just need to be clicking the option button and the E once and twice. So you push down on the E first and one more time and you have your accent appear. It's for a circumflex accent, you just have to do option I and the letter. For the tremor, Again, option and U, then E, or you can do that again and do it again. And you can add it on the U, something like nice and easy again. The next one, if you want to do the N in Spanish, uh, just option N and N again. Okay, and you have that on top of your letter. The Cedilla, again, nice and easy, option C, done. And finally, that special character you have in French called Le Don Lo, and you just have to use the option and the Q, and you have that straight away. Super quick. Right, if you're on a PC, you have several ways. I, the old fashioned way would be using key codes, but there's not absolutely nothing wrong with using key codes at all. You just have to, to know what they are. If you're starting, and trying to find your way around these. I will maybe use key codes, but if you've been using key codes for years and years, like I have been, a lot of the people have been, uh, go ahead, there are some lists over the internet, I probably will put a a, um, a, a copy of a, a link to uh, the codes and stuff like that into the, uh, the description of the video. But again, nothing wrong with that. It's very straightforward. Uh, so you make sure that your number lock onto your computer uh, is uh, is on that's very important. We should have your little light there, and after that, push down your alt key and put your code away. Again, several types of codes you can have, and I know that alt zero two three three, for example, is going to be doing uh, an accent aigu like this, and alt zero two three two does something else. Alt zero two three two does an accent grave. Okay, uh, not that one, obviously, because it's capital letter. Um, Again, lots of lists of these, and it could be really quick if you know them already. I wouldn't go for that one if you're starting and you want to go quick because you're gonna to have to learn the codes or have the list in front of your eyes. You can learn, it's okay, but there's a bit slightly faster than this. Okay, now it's quite straightforward if you want if you work on a PC, uh instead of using the, the key codes on the side, you can still use your control key and as you can see on the on the on the computer here, it's nice and easy. You can make really something super quick also without using the key code. So um, I'll just go here. I'm on Microsoft Surface at the moment, so, uh, but if you, it works exactly the same. So if I want to do an accent aigu, just click Control, then the apostrophe and E, done, okay? Okay, let's not forget the grave accent, so Control, 
then uh, the character on top on the left, not quite sure, it's the opposite of the apostrophe. Control, top key there, and then E to photograph accent. Same process here, but this time we're just going to be adding a, a, a key to, um, to that. You're going to have the, the, the shift key, as you can see. So control, shift, then uh, the hat, and you're going to have the E, for example, here. You can obviously do it, obviously, again, capital letter, do it again. You can do that with an A, uh, an I. Okay, that's super easy, super simple. When you want to do the enya like in Spanish, uh, so Control Shift, you have the enya. It could be a different um, place and different keyboards. Uh, on the drawing here, you have uh, it's on the top left on my keyboard at the moment. It's on the right hand side with uh, the hashtag, but same process. So there we go, easy. Now you want to be doing. Uh, the special character you want to. So now you want to do the E inside the O. You just need to be using the ampersand and the control shift, control shift, ampersand and O. And I have my uh, E inside the O like in sir or cur. And finally for the umlaut or the um, tréma, I'll say in French, control shift, then semicolon or colon, same button anyway, and your E or same, you can rather you or any other letter that you need to put it on top. Okay, nice and super. The way to get accents is using the Windows key and the full stop. You can also use the Windows key and the semicolon, it works for both. So, what happens if I just click on the Windows key and full stop? I have this little window appearing. You can see I've got the emojis and could have some GIFs or GIF, whatever you call them. Uh, cow emojis. And symbols, and you're gonna have also clipboard history. Uh, so if I go into symbols, there I have all the accents I've been using in the past. You can scroll down, or you can scroll uh, the other way. And if you go to your Latin symbols, you will have all of your stuff there. So you could be doing this, but it's a bit time consuming to be finding new accents. But once you've used them, uh, as shown at the beginning uh, here. Uh, you will have them there as if you have a touch screen it's probably a bit better to go and uh, use them i still think it is a little bit time consuming to be using this but it is another solution uh, as shown by uh, julia morris she gave a very very good trick on this if you copy and paste all of your um, accent let's say i want to do uh, i want to this accent there I don't want to have the capital letter, but I can if I need to have it. Uh, so there we go. And I'm going to be using the other one. Okay. What I need to do is I just copy it. Control C. Okay. And I'm going to copy in this one. So Control C. And if I open the clipboard by using the Windows key and V. Okay. You'll see that they are appearing here. Okay. So. However, at the end of the day, if I uh, shut down my computer, they're going to be disappearing. However, if you click on the pin item, doing this and this, whatever happens, they will still be there. Okay, that's which is quite fun, which is quite good, which is quite quick. So this way, if you need your accents, you do Windows and V to access your clipboard, and they are going to be there. Okay, I've got bits and bobs as you can see here. Okay. But they'll be appearing straight away. And finally, um, we uh, we are using Microsoft Surfaces uh, at school, and staff were lucky to have one. And I um, I I'm using sometimes the um, floating keyboard, and I think it's really good. And again, it would work like on a Mac. Uh, if you were doing something like this, and you put your accent, okay, whatever you need accent you need, it is quite quick. Also, you can put it down. So as you can see here i've got it into my taskbar and it's very simple to actually put it there so I'll, I'll show you briefly how to do that okay so you can see i am uh, in settings into systems if i go and click on to uh, personalization personalization now i'm going to be just going on to my taskbar you can see at the bottom here and there touch keyboard 
and it's obviously on at the moment and I put it back on and obviously now you will have access to it at any time. You can also personalize your keyboard and changing colors and stuff like that. That's not really important, uh, but you got to just, once you have that keyboard working, it's really straightforward to put your accents and quite fun.